Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be doing something a little different. There's always something a little different. So we're going to be downgrading our function level uh, and the domain function, the domain and the forest functional level in our 2022 box. And the reason why sometimes you want to do this, I had to do this many years ago. I believe it's when we went to 2012 to 2016, I believe, or 2008 to 2012. I don't really remember. But the reason why you would do this is to have the functionality, the functional level the same. So say, for example, you have a domain controller that's a domain in your environment that's running 2012, and you cannot go higher than that. So once you bring in a new domain controller, you may have to downgrade that instead of you know having that 2016, since that's the latest and greatest at the moment, we have to bring that down to 2012, 2012 R2, et cetera. So I want to show you guys how to do that and verify it before and after and all that good stuff. All right. So like I said here, you know, what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to go ahead and check the, the levels at, at the current moment in our environment. I right click and go into the domain, go to properties. That's how we're going to check. And then we're going to go ahead and run some PowerShell commands to do this process for the domain and for the forest. And then we're going to go ahead back into Active Directory and check and make sure all of our commands worked successfully and we can test that. Okay. So let's go ahead and open up our domain. This is still the domain we just was using. I haven't gone back to my live environment. Like when I'm making any crazy changes and testing anything, I'd rather do it on a domain that's, um, I'm, I don't want to mess it up, right? If I do mess it up, I did take a snapshot. You can always take a snapshot of your VM, which is always a good thing to do. And that's just my recommendation, all right? So let's go ahead and open up Active Directory. So in here, we can go ahead and right click on a domain on new company in my case, go to properties, and we can see it's at our domain functional level is at 2016 and our forest functional, uh, functional level is 2016. So like I said, what if we had something that had a 2012? So we wanna bring this, so all the, all the domains, everything works properly, everything's at the same level. So let's get started, shall we? And you know, before we get into the process, you know, please like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. And uh, feel free to leave any comments below if you have any problems or just with any concerns. All right, let's go open up PowerShell as an admin. Let's go ahead and make this bigger. Okay. So the first thing we can do is see. Obviously, let's just run this command really quick. So we're going to run get ad forest. Okay. So let's give this a moment. So right now we are running at 2016. Our forest mode is 2016. Okay, so what about for the domain? Okay, let's get the domain. So the domain is at 2016 as well, right? So we can run this command just to verify what we're running at. Obviously we just test, uh, we just went into our domain, but this is a command if you wanna you know, get to know this command, get to know it. You can throw this in your little arsenal. It's a pretty handy, Command. Okay, let's clear that and let's just get this uh, ball rolling. So what we're going to do first is let's go ahead and set. We're going to set the AD first, right? So we're going to set the mode, right? And then we're going to do identity. Whoops. So my identity in my case is going to be newcompany.com, right? All right, so that's my domain. Whatever is your domain, go ahead and put that there. And then we're gonna do forest, dash, forest mode. So with forest mode, we're gonna be changing this to Windows Server 2020, uh, 20, 2012 R2, right? So let's go ahead and do Windows, oh, not 20, not 2000, crazy, R2 mode. So we're gonna be running this command. So if you guys, a little bigger, so we're gonna run set dash ad forest mode dash identity. So we're gonna do my domain name, which, which is my, uh, excuse me, newcompany.com dash forest mode. And then it's, we're gonna be setting it to 2020, 2012. Okay, and just go ahead and hit Y for yes. All right, so 
So now what we can do really quick is run that same command get AD forest. And now we can see it's at 2012. See that? So our first, our first step is done. So the next thing we have to do is a domain. We have to make sure both are good to go. So I want to clear that for, for just a shortcut. I'm just going to go ahead and change whatever it says forest to domain. Okay. So domain mode. And then let's go ahead and just do AD so name. Okay. Yes. All right. Perfect. So this is both commands that we need to run to downgrade. All right. So let's just go ahead and get AD, uh, get AD domain. So now if we come back down here, we can see 2012 right here, domain mode. So now let's go give it a go. Let's clear this out and let's go into our AD. And once we go back to AD, let's go ahead and yep. right click, properties. And we can see now it's 2012 R2. So we're good. So obviously this is how you go ahead and downgrade uh, your function, your functional level for your domain and for your forest. So hope this guy, hopefully this has been very informative for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to you know leave me a comment you know, below, and uh, you know please like, subscribe, share, hit that bell, make sure you get notifications for any new videos. And yeah, until next time, have a beautiful day. Thanks, folks.